Welcome back to Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're at Deer Camp in Alabama, and we're getting ready to make some dinner. All right, it's been a nine hour journey. We just arrived here to uh, hunting camp. It's Robert and Z Hill uh, near some place in Alabama. You've got a pretty good setup here already. We got this huge barn. Big metal building. And that'll be home for tonight. So still gotta get everything loaded. Eleven o'clock at night. We gotta get up early. Alright, we're ready to go to the stand. It's pretty early. Don't know what time. Here we go. Pretty close to interstate down there. Can hear that all night. So maybe we'll see something. Wind is not in my favor this morning. We got a food plot back over to our right over here. Kind of the direction I'm looking, but it's a little ways over there through the woods. And the wind is kind of blowing straight out in front of me over here, so we'll see how it goes. We don't see nothing here in an hour. We'll get out of this little stand and go walk around. All right, we got a we got our fire going here. We just went and cut some firewood. Brought over here with the trusty uh, Polaris Ranger. We got a good stack, and we're gonna build a good bed of coals right here on this piece of tin. Windy today, so protecting the ground. So get this big set of coals going. We're gonna cook on the Dutch oven. All right, going for a little ride down to the pond. We're fully armed and dangerous now. Fire getting ready. Powerful right, we'll season catch anything. It's some good bass in here. Believe it or not. We ain't all died from water being low. Got a ladder stand right there. On walking them around, we got a bass. This is a pretty good size fish, too. Two pounder, maybe a little bigger than two pounds, yeah, about two pounder. Pretty good fish on ultralight. <laughs> yeah, you suck it down. A little light colored fish. Yeah, I think it's because it's a shell. Need my pliers? Yeah. Because I knew it would come in here just to eat it. You got something in his belly. Looks like it had a grandma something here recently. Get one of them. Little baby eight ounce rattle trap. Get a good look at him. 
came around here. Poor little bitty fawn, not a bad fish. <laughs> Back, catch again. So I guess normally the water level's all the way up to here, but been in a severe drought here in the south. So this uh, excavation here is where uh, it's got prepared for a little road coming down and a embankment to put a dock out into this lake pond, which is usually way up here to the edge of these trees. And you can see it's right up to a puddle. Did a pretty good job of this. But it's ready to go. Well, we know the deer are coming down here to get water because there's some scat and there's tracks all along here. Big old track, old climbing tracks right here. Right along the edge. We've been riding around property looking for a place to put deer stand scene. But now it's time to go ahead and get ready for dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and put our Dutch oven on. We got a still got a fire going in, got a good bed of coals. I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate how many coals we're gonna need on there. Go ahead and set. We got our number 10. Go ahead and set that on there. Let it start getting hot. Uh, this is what we got going in. Chuck roast and big hunk of sausage. Just crumble it in there first? Yeah, crank that up in there first. Burn your fingers off. Just pitch it around and make it a spot for it. I'm just going to try to brown it first. We're going to have to get it something to block the wind off of it. We want to brown it real good. Alright. So go ahead and let that go uncovered. And brown it real good on all the sides. Alright, been in there a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and just uh, flip it over. Now it's got a nice uh, beer on it. It's all browning. We'll get that 
dark color can help her just the consistency and color of our salt. Well, I know I packed my lead lifter, but somehow I didn't make it from my truck, my brother's truck, all the way and didn't make it all the way to Alabama. So if you're out of your lead lifter and you got one of these, perfect substitute. All right, we're brown on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and put in a couple bouillon cubes. There's three of them. A whole large onion. Just dump it in there. About three cups of water. That should be about enough. It's about two thirds covered. All you gotta do now, go hunt and come back, it's gonna be perfect. All right, still here in Alabama. I'm on my stand for the afternoon. It's a climber, so I'm sweating. Got up to this nice uh, leaf layer here. Deer crossing right up in front of us. And a fence line there following over there and a feeder up there. So hopefully we're in Crossroads Central here. I'm tired getting up here. The stand's working good. I hear something moving, so let me go and get back to you. All right, folks. Still sitting up here in this tree. There ain't nothing going on. Barely a bird chirping. All I can hear is the constant drone of the interstate. 85. I haven't seen nothing. I'm trying to keep from going to sleep. You got this nice stream babbling behind me. Read these stupid deer. I'm not gonna come out until it's almost dark. All right, folks, we're back in uh, camp here. Just got back in from hunting. Nobody seen nothing, but we left our good old Dutch oven out there cooking while everybody was in the woods. And uh, we just cleaned her out there. And there's our chuck roast and onions. And, you know, nobody's gotta be fancy out here Hunting camp. Well, you know, we the back was gourmet, but sometimes when you're out here, you've been hunting hard all day, you don't want to make things fancy. So here we're just going to grab some meat, a little bit of gravy, maybe some uh, some bread, chomp down. That's what it's all about. When we're at home and we can, uh, oh, we're on a casual camping trip, not on a, you know, furious hunt where we only got one and a half days to hunt. Then we could do stuff a little bit uh, more complicated, but here was kind of a rush deal, and uh, we got to go back home tomorrow. So, fair is better to have that and eat sandwiches and Vienna sausages. So, uh, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button. Y'all subscribe, share, comment as always. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.